With the player re-signing deadline approaching, a lot of teams are certain to balance out their checkbooks. Even a few teams are starting to jump out the gym and come after my players. JR Swish is not going anywhere. He's Gucci over here in Philadelphia. But there is one player on our roster that looks like he's not going to make a comeback next season. And that's Spencer Hawes. And the only reason I say that is because he's not worth the money. I have Noel and I'm probably going to be able to pick up somebody in free agency next year or even the draft. We won't know until next season. But we're about to go out on the floor in style and some new MJs. But let's take it away, man. Kill confirmed about to kill this beat. What's going on everybody, it's High Pod King Carter here, the super man of YouTube. I'm bringing you guys a brand new association video featuring an unlikely team that you would see in my association. But I decided to showcase this because this is something like a rivalry. Now, I know a lot of people are like, what is he talking about? Well, if you look at the people on the floor, you see Andrew Bynum in a Detroit Pistons jersey. Yes, in my association, he didn't go to Cleveland. He went to Detroit. They ended up spending that bread on those knees. And guess what? He's fully functional. He's looking good. And it's going to be a great battle all night long. Now, the reason I wanted to showcase this because I wanted to see how Noel actually stacked up against him. That's why I played this game. I wanted to see how well his post game was, how agile he was, how much faster he would be. And I like Noel over Bynum in this game. I'm just saying, now I know Noel is a, you know, created player and put inside of a draft class, but hey, you know, his stats looking real good. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, but to Noel, Detroit is not trash at all. Now, I know it's funny because people are like, but they only got Andrew Bynum. No, no. They got Brandon Knight. They got Ronnie Stuckey. They got Monroe. They still got Max Hill. They got so many different, like, look at this. Look at it. Look, look at that. Did you see him just get... Hold on, I'm going to let y'all watch this replay. Look at Bullock. He he almost died. Like, literally. Like, that was almost murder. Like, <laughs> if that, if that would have been a 2K12 animation, he would have been on the floor. He'd have been walked over. He'd have been stepping all over him. It would looked like a murder scene out here. But the Philadelphia 76ers, in my association, are pure shooters. I got nothing but shooters around me. You feel me? I feel like Drake. Like I feel like Fab. I feel like you know what I'm saying. I feel like them dudes. They say, yeah, man. I got I got all these shooters around me. You know what I'm saying? Nori Allen. That, that's a Fab. That's a Fab line for y'all. You know I'm saying. I don't know if y'all Fab fans, but you know I am. I'm just saying. You know. Um. Everybody on my team shoots. Also, another thing I want to talk about: Chris Duhon and Antoine Jameson. There's been a lot of talk in the you know Lakers, Sixers, and another team talk that. Chris Duhon and Antoine Jameson are being looked at by the Sixers. Now, I'm not sure if it's Jameson, but I'm pretty sure it's Chris Duhon. Now, I just want to say one thing before, you know, we get into the halftime. I think that Sam Hinkie himself, yes, Sam Hinkie, he, he is watching my association videos. He has to be. Like, nobody would have thought that Noel would have been going to the Sixers at all. I made an association. I got Noel in the draft, and all of a sudden, they get Noel. Now, they did give up a big-time sixer for this. I gave up Evan Turner. They gave up Drew Holiday. I still think that was the wrong decision, by the way. Now, the funny thing is, probably about, I say, two to three weeks ago, I wanted to get Michael Carter Williams on my team, so I had to do something with the Lakers. And I got Chris Duhon and Antoine Jameson as well. So what is Sam Hinkie over there doing? Is he watching my videos? Like I just like I'm just, I'm just saying, Sam. You know, if you're watching my videos, you can hit me up on Twitter at iPod King Carter, and we could discuss this. You know, I can make your team better, bro. You know, I, I could be the real Sam Hinkie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, man. But you know, 
I just I just feel like you know this season is going to be very tricky. It's going to be a lot of different changes, a lot of new personnel, and I think that we are going to come out mm, probably at a I would say 30 wins. If we can get 30 wins, I promise you I won't be as angry as I you know originally was going to be. If we can get 30 wins. I won't be as mad. But let's put a little bit of highlight on this association video. Do you guys see the stats from these people in my association? Like, come on. They going in shooting over 50%. No problem. Ain't, ain't nobody been doing that. Look at this. Russell Westbrook shooting 52%. Like, what? Like, yo, this association is stacked up. Like, all these players is on steroids. I'm just saying they on... <laughs> They on performance enhancing drugs, like straight up. But let's get into the third quarter, guys. I want to talk a little bit about the gameplay. Now, the third quarter, it was, you know, that 2K type of feel where a team goes on a run. Once that foul happened, things just started falling in line. Like, it seemed like Detroit could not be stopped. They were making shot after shot after shot. And I'm like, oh my goodness, what's going on? Like, we can't get back on defense. We got little dudes that's like 6'3", dunking on us on the break. People blocking shots all over the place. They looking like SWAT team out there. Bounce passes working to their... <laughs> I'm like, yo, what's going on here? So, you know, we cause a timeout. And you know what I do, right? I put my thinking cap on. I say, I got, I got nothing but shooters. So I get JR swishing the fold. I'm like, you know what? We can make these shots. So I start calling a few different plays. Start getting more people involved. Get my boy Jay Rich moving. You know, I, I use Jay Rich from time to time. Also, you know, <laughs> we gets the cookies out here. Let me let me wipe them crumbs real quick. But hey, man, it's all about the alley-oop, man. I know Jay Rich can't rise like he used to, but it's all good. And also... I still got another shooter named Wright. Darrell Wright is still here on my association. I still like him. And we went on a nice little 10-0 run ourselves. Well, actually, it was more like an 11-0 run, you know, since we had a three. But, yo, I'm going to tell y'all right now. Things get gritty in the paint. Like, this game right here, like, everybody was snapping. Every time it was a dunk, it was like, yo, snap, man. I just dunked on your head, bro. What up? What you got? And then stuff like that happened. Drumming come back down and just dunk on somebody's head. Like, oh, my goodness. It was it was outrageous. But let's check out a little bit of the highlights as the game has been going on. And you want to know what's funny? When I look at Andrew Bynum, I say, why does that man have a, a little mohawk? Like, why does why does he have a mohawk? He, he straight up has braids. He probably going to have dreads by the time the season starts. Like, what the heck is going on here? I don't know, man. Sometimes, man, 2K got to get their stuff right. They got to update these accessories, these hairstyles, rosters, everything. But let's get into the fourth quarter. You know how the game go, man. Once we get started in the fourth, things get ugly. Now, I realize that little statement about having shooters around me, I forgot Antoine Jameson was a shooter. Like, how dumb does it feel to know that you have a power forward leaking out and you can easily shoot threes with him? I was like, how dumbfounded am I? But, oh, Drew Holiday? Yeah. Young Drew? He gets it in, boy. Yo, I promise you, right now, Drew Holiday said, turn up, turn up, turn up. Because I realize, you know, I could score with a lot of different people, but I want to get, you know, the simple people involved. I want to have, you know, nobody over 30, you know, nothing like that. I want to, you know, have it a little bit more realistic than others because we know there hasn't been a pure score on the 76ers since Allen Iverson. So, you know, when you see somebody drop like 35 or 40 or something like that, you're like, this is unrealistic. Come on. But that move right there, that spin dunk right there is not realistic at all. When will you ever see Michael Carter Williams go in the lane for a spin dunk like that with an and one foul and make it? Ain't nobody got time for that. But, you know, the game is coming down to an end. Um... It wasn't really nothing they could do after this three-pointer right here by Bullock. It was like, yo, you going to give me this space? Why not take it? You know what I'm saying? But we went up big. Um, we ended up winning by 10. You know, it wasn't, wasn't nothing too crazy. Ain't no 20-piece or nothing like that. And uh, I will say this, though. Playing 5-on-5 five five against the computer on Hall of Fame is crazy. Like, the amount of cheese they give you, like, 
no type of deli involved like this cheese is crazy like you get bumped on offense bumped on defense bumped at the half court for just standing there during the timeout like they bump you all game and it's like the comp computer as soon as i switch over to play on ball defense they bump right past me and just go to the lane so i think that's why the scores like you know they go on those crazy 10-0 runs and stuff like that but i'll be right back let's get into this kill confirm beat in the player of the game y'all Alright you guys, we back. Now, I'm just showing you guys the after the game stats. I want to show you guys how much better I'm getting at this 5 on 5 life. You guys know the type of player I am, 1 on 1, break your ankles, get to the rack, dunk on your man. But this 5 on 5, I'm actually trying to get better. So, you know, when they, when the playoffs come, playoffs, when they come, I'm just going to turn up. That's all. But one big thing you guys may not have known, Michael Carter Williams does one out of Philadelphia. Ooh, I gotta hit him up on Twitter and spaz on him. But guess what? <laughs> Our GM, Sam Hinkie, he says, no, no, no. You're not going anywhere, MCW. I got your balls by the vice grip. Year, yeah, this is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.